In this video, I'm going to go over how you can share folders and files. Sharing in Google Drive is one of the key features that makes Google Drive so much better than some of the other options and one of the reasons that we are going to be using it so heavily in this class. And you should follow along because this is going to be the way that you will turn in assignments to me. For the new folder, you're going to name this in a special way. You're going to name this so that it follows along with the naming structure that we've set up in previous videos. So my goal here is to make sure that this folder is always at the bottom of my list. That way, throughout the course of the year, as I continue to progress, my current folder that I'm doing work in will always be just above this folder. So I want this to be at the very bottom. So I'm going to go Z dash turn in dash name of this account, which is what you should do, but this can be confusing for a second, um, but you should share your name here. So in this case, this account is B-A-H-S Biomed. Here where it says BAHS Biomed should be your name. I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And right now, nothing looks special. All this is is a, a regular folder like the other ones we've done so far. In order to take a normal folder or file and share it is a very simple process. You're just going to check all of the things you want to share. In this case, I'm just sharing this folder, so I'll just check this one. And then this little icon comes up here that says share. So you click that if you want to share something. Uh, this window comes up and can look a little bit confusing, uh, but for our purposes right now, you just come down here to where it says invite people. You are going to invite me. So you're going to type in my email address. And then you're going to make sure that over here it says can edit. It could say can view, but you're going to keep it at can edit. This will allow me to see the folders that you put in here and all the files, make comments, and grade. So you have to make sure this says can edit. Up here, you have your name, and if I hit send, so I'm going to invite myself, you see that now my name shows up in a picture of my son, and it says can edit. You can always change this later, but it should say can edit. You see is owner is up here next to the account name, and then this option up here is what I use uh, when I want to share direction folders with you or something like that, when I share the summer work with you, I use this option. Specific people can access. I'm going to change that to anyone with the link. Right now, I'm going to keep it as specific people, but that's the option that I use in class to allow you to be able to see things. And so I do that and then say, just can view so that nobody can accidentally uh, change or mess up the summer work and mess up what other people see. For this purpose, you just keep this as specific people. You don't even have to open this window up. That's all you have to do. Hit done. And you see now a little person shows up on this folder and the name or the word shared shows up right next to the name. When you click into here, the little people are still up there. You're going to create another folder that says graded and then hit create and share. You see this new and share option has showed up as opposed to when we do other folders that say just create. Now, this has automatically been shared with the people who show up up here. So this is the owner of the account. This is me, I've shared this account, uh, shared this folder, and anything that I do in this folder will automatically get shared with me. Uh, so, this graded folder is where I will be putting, uh, as the teacher, after I grade your assignments, I will put into that folder so that you know I've graded it and you can open it up and see. So at this point, 
you should have created, named, and then shared with me your turn in folder. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs to actually create documents themselves and then how to create links between your documents so that you can actually turn assignments in. And the next video has some very specific details that everybody needs to watch, so make sure you take notes on the next video.